Greetings! This is the first of four Primavera P6 tutorials dealing with an introduction to Earn Value Analysis in Primavera P6. Before we get started, let's have some definitions. Earn Value Analysis is a technique for measuring project performance according to project cost and schedule. It compares the budgeted or planned cost of work to the actual cost of work. I'm going to come over to my layout options bar and activate hint help so we can look at some of the other definitions. Let's talk about planned value cost. Planned value cost is the cost of work that should have been accomplished as of the data date if the project had proceeded according to the baseline plan. The calculation for computing planned value cost is budget at completion times schedule percent complete. Schedule percent complete specifies how much of the project's baseline duration should be completed as of the data date. Planned value cost answers the question how much work should be done as of the data date. Let's move over and talk about actual cost. Actual cost is the actual total cost incurred for the work accomplished as of the data date. It is calculated as actual labor cost plus actual non-labor cost plus actual material cost, all of which are derived from resources, plus actual expense cost. So actual cost answers the question, how much did the completed work actually cost? Let's get a definition now for earned value cost. Earned value cost is the value of the work performed as of the data date. Earned value is calculated as budget at completion times performance percent complete. Performance percent complete, I'm going to go ahead and move over to performance percent complete, specifies what percentage of the activity's planned value has been earned so far. Let's look at budget at completion. Budget at completion is the sum of baseline labor, baseline non-labor, baseline material, and baseline expense cost. Schedule percent complete, once again, identifies how much of the project's baseline duration should be completed as of the data date. And again, project or performance percent complete identifies what percentage of the activity's planned value has been earned so far. Before we proceed, I'm going to turn off Hint Help. We're tracking one activity. Let's look at the details about that activity. On the Status tab, I can see that this activity has an original duration of 10 days. It has not been actualized yet. Its calculated start date is January 11, and its calculated finish date is January 22. The method for pr reporting pr uh, progress on this activity is physical percent complete. If I go to the resources tab, I can see that one resource has been assigned to this activity to work 8 hours per day over the 10-day period for 80 budgeted units times $100 per hour giving us our $8,000 budget at completion. First thing we're going to demonstrate is the calculation of planned value cost. Remember, planned value is the cost of work that should have been accomplished as of the data date if the project had proceeded according to the baseline plan. Planned value is budget at completion, which in this instance is $8,000 times schedule percent complete. Schedule percent complete is automatically calculated when you advance the data date. I'm not going to status this activity. It's not started yet, but I am going to advance the data date. So I'm going to go to Tools, Schedule, and I'm going to advance the data date one date so that it's January 12th of 2010, and I'll click Schedule. As you can see, my schedule percent complete is now listed at 10% because I've consumed one of my 10-day duration. My planned value cost is 
and that's calculated by taking schedule percent complete times budget at completion. Neither actual cost nor earned value cost have been calculated yet. So let's now demonstrate the calculation of actual and earned value cost. So again, earned value cost is the value of work performed as of the data date. It is calculated by taking budget at completion times performance percent complete. So let's status this activity. I'm going to come down to the status tab and notate that the activity started and it started on January 12th. I'm now going to report my percentage of completion. So my physical percent complete is 25%. And I'm going to report the fact that I've got eight remaining days of duration to complete this activity. I'll now go to the Resources tab, and I'll report the actual units that this resource spent, and that will be 30. Now I'm going to reforecast my schedule as of my new data date, which will be January 18th of 2010. So back up to Tools, Schedule, advance my data date to January 18th and I'll click schedule. So let's look at the results here. First of all, we've consumed half of our 10 day duration so our schedule percent complete is now 50 percent. So my planned value is four thousand dollars. Again that's calculated by multiplying my schedule percent complete times budget at completion this is the work that should have been done or was planned to have been done at this point in time if everything proceeded according to the baseline plan. My $3,000 actual cost is derived from the 30 actual units spent by the resource times his price per unit of $100 per hour. My earned value is $2,000. That is calculated based on the performance percent complete that was entered, which is 25% times budget at completion, $8,000. So what I'm able to see here is that I'm behind schedule. I've earned less than I should have earned at this point in time. And it cost me $3,000 to get $2,000 worth of work done at this point in time. Stay tuned for the next video, which is going to go into more detail regarding performance percent complete. Thank you.